Hello, this is H.E. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Dragoon! Today, well, let's see if we can find someone around here who knows we can, or knows where we can find that Dragani plant to save Shauna. I'm not going to talk to most of the NPCs around here. They just talk about how this is a merchant city and everything like that, and the problems and everything going on. Nothing extraordinarily relevant. But anyway, I can steal money from them at least. And one thing I like about how this town is designed, it kind of looks like a Nickelodeon game show. A few of them actually kind of had this sort of layout for different rooms and houses and stuff. So just something I uh, kind of noticed when I came to this town. Probably one of the reasons why I like this town so much. But anyway, let's see. Well, we gotta find a lot of treasure around here. There's quite a few Stardust we can get here, so let's check it out. And reveal a secret passage. Ha <laughs> ha! Yeah, just examine the bookshelf, and you can get in back there. In the lower right, you can see the doctor's room there where Shauna is at the time. And if you examine the, I don't know, what is that, a furnace or a stove or something? Well, whatever it is, it has a secret stardust inside. All right. See, all these rooms are kind of interconnected, but they, they're kind of haphazardly put together like that. One of the NPCs says something about how they just kept on building one shop at a time and just put them all on top of each other like this. Kind of a strange way of going about it, but it works. Okay, that's everything we can get on that screen there. I do want to buy a few things while I'm here. Let's take a look at the item shop. If I can get in there, good. They have some new battle items that we could purchase. I'm not gonna get them right now, but I at least want to point them out for future reference. But I mean, let's see. Okay, they got all that stuff. Let's see. They got spinning gales, which would have been useful against Congol, but, well, too late now. And I don't use the Gushing Magnums very much, but well, every now and then I might. Okay, that's what we got there. Let's see as far as items go. Hmm, we're doing pretty good there. I don't think I need the Sun Rhapsody. I'll hold on to it just in case, though. Just one of them won't break my inventory there. And let's see. Oh, yeah, I forgot to mention the Downburst that we won from Fairbrand absolutely hold on to it. You don't need to mash to use it, but it hits all enemies for a lot of damage. And that's really, really nice there. Okay, well, I think we're doing pretty good there on the items. I'll just buy one Mind Purifier, though, for now. I like to keep one of each of the status curing items in my inventory. If you're new to the game, you may want to have a couple of each of those, just in case. But since I know what's coming, I know how to work around any problems that may arise. But anyway, if we go up here, we have an out-of-the-way weapons shop. How good could your equipment possibly be? Well, first things first, I do want to buy a cape for Rose there, which for some reason is a piece of headgear, but okay, there you are. And I want to hold on to her old... Uh, hat there. What is it? Felt hat there. So that way I could switch it from one character to another if the need should arise. I don't think it will, but you never know. Uh, let's see. Whoa, I've got a whole bunch of uh, extra spears there. And let's see. I'm just going to hold on to my old weapons for now. It's not really necessary, but you could just to be, make sure you can switch around equipment, because you can't remove equipment in this game directly. It's like a Chrono Cross sort of deal, I guess. Or not Chrono Cross, a Chrono Trigger there, where you couldn't remove equipment. So, although I heard you can, but there's a bug that lets you work around it. But that's another game. But anyway, they also sell some really expensive equipment that is obscenely powerful. I mean, 127 magic defense boost compared to the cape there. Holy cow! But yeah, I am not going to be using any of the legendary equipment in the game. There is one for physical defense, and it basically makes you invulnerable, practically, from what I've heard. Uh, let's see, as far as status protections go, I'm not going to buy anything. Maybe a protector might be nice, 
but for now, I don't think that's necessary. We got an accessory that performs additions automatically for you, but the cost of it is not very good. And I've heard this one doesn't accumulate experience for using your additions. So that one doesn't work that way. We got some other overly powerful equipment here. And the ultimate war god, basically the next upgrade to the war god calling. You get maximum damage and SP out of it. I think it does count the additions you perform with that towards your running total. I've never actually used it. That's just what I've heard. But yeah, I don't think that's necessary. Most of the additions are not that difficult in my opinion. Some of them are, but not the ones that I'm going to be using, for the most part. But anyway, let's go on over here, and in this box, hey, hey! Not that I'm going to use it, but it's there. I think that's the one that has the auto-revive property to it, but the stats are terrible, so I'll never use it. I'll hold on to it all the same anyway. I don't know, maybe someone knows a really cool strategy with that. But me, eh, I don't think it's worthwhile. But apparently, like everyone else in this town, I like hoarding equipment, even if I never use it, because money is not really a problem in this game, aside from the legendary equipment. Hey, how's it going, buddy? Oh, wow. You got any of those magic items? No. Sadly, once he gets back here, he, you can't buy any of those items that you did before. Oh, maybe he has what we're looking for. I mean, I know you got an antique shot. You're an antique dealer, not an herbalist, but, well, let's see what we got. Oh, nice. Thanks for getting my hopes up, pal. Oh, okay. Well, the doctor was talking about it. Oh, what's this? Oh, okay. Yeah, if you remember, there's that one monster plant or whatever that was blocking our path. Well, that's where we gotta go. Well, the dragon's is gone, so maybe the poison will subside. Oh, well, of course. How did you know that, Rose? Well, I suppose she's from around here, so... She might know the territory, I guess. Sounds like a plan. We're not going to give you any money or compensation for your advice. I mean, we did save your life. But anyway, I do want to go back in there, though. He doesn't even sell anything, actually. At least not to us, anyway. But anyway, I do want to come back in here because I want to walk around here a little bit. Because this is an antique shop here. And he has, in this suit of armor, a secret stardust. Ha-ha! Awesome. If I can ever get back down. I don't know why I can't move sometimes. I just get like caught on one of those pins of the guardrail or whatever those things are called. But anyway, yeah, if you just talk to Dabas, he just says something that's not very relevant. So, not really worried about it. But anyway, well, we gotta get that water to purify, or purify the plant there. Maybe I could use one of my potions on it. Huh? How's it going? Oh. Yeah, forgot about that. Couldn't I just use one of my healing potions and then refill that? No. No, that's another game, viewers. How much could a bottle possibly cost here? Well, what do you got? I see you got some vases around here. Maybe that'll work. Oh, well, we don't really need anything pricey there. 
something that'll get the job done. Whoa, holy crap, what is that? A uh, hundred million, I think that is? One hundred million dollars. I've never even seen that movie. I don't know which one that line is from. I think he said a hundred billion dollars, so uh, whatever, I don't know. But yeah, that's way too expensive. Uh, well, can we just get down to business, pal? Uh, my girlfriend's life is at stake here. Three thousand? I could buy a suit of armor for that amount. I could buy ten of them. Yeah, way too expensive, man. You actually could buy it for that price if you had the money, but I don't... Well, not only do I not, I don't want to pay an exorbitant amount for just a little water bottle. But anyway, we gotta haggle with this guy. Mm, that's still way too much. I could get, like, MP restoring items or... Thing, items that bring people back from the dead for way less than that amount of money. You're not serious, right? Let's try that one again, pal. Eh, not too much, but eh, we'll just find someone else. Yeah, let's get out of here, guys. Uh... That's just creepy, dude. Oh. Really? Oh. Well then. Thanks, I guess? Yeah, if you just keep on haggling with him over and over and over again, he gives it to you for free for some reason. But like I said, you could buy it if you really wanted to, but there's really no reason to do that, so... Yeah, I don't know what the point of all that was, but there you are. Hey, how's it going? Oh, wow, really? Huh. Sounds like a pretty good thief. Haven't ran into that guy, though. But anyway, let's take a look around. We still got a little more treasure we can find around here. Oh, yeah, they got a little arena in the back there with a whole bunch of mini games that, in my opinion, are totally not worth it. So... Yeah, I'll briefly take a look at it later. Not today, but eventually. Hey, how's it going, man? Oh, really? Minintos. Is that like uh, the opposite of the Gigantos? Yeah, pretty much. They're tiny people. I don't know if they're elf people or... Yeah, we don't really hear a whole lot about them, but... Well, I just thought I'd point out that that species exists. But anyway, let's see. If you look in the basket here... Ha-ha! Secret Stardust! Okay, now we're actually done with business around here. So, let's get out of here. Let's see. Oh, well, there is one more Stardust that I want to get around here. A little pot in the corner here. With another Secret Stardust. Alright. So, let's see. If we check our inventory, we should have 14 Stardust. Good, good. How are we doing on the additions there? Okay, not doing too bad there. You're doing good. Now, what I want to do with Rose, by the time I'm done with business at the shrine and come all the way back, I want to have Whip Smack all the way done there. So, yeah, we should be able to do it without, like, intentionally or massively grinding, but you never know. Something also to keep in mind is that Rose doesn't learn her next edition until level 14, and Dart doesn't learn his next one until level 15. I'm still going to try and give th those two more work on their editions than Lavitz. But yeah, we're not going to learn more editions for them for a while. So let's see, let's just make a quick backup save here. And then see what lies beyond. Uh, my setup, as far as my equipment goes, I've listed in the, in the video description there. But it's pretty much the same as before, except I have the cape and the plate mail now. So yeah, I don't feel any need to make some special changes. It might not be a bad idea to equip stun guards on everyone if you wanted to. 
if you had a whole bunch of them, but I don't think that's really a big deal. Now what I want to do here is go over here, then jump down. Because if you jump down from the top, you have to go all the way through, or all the way down these, I don't know what they are, like vines or something, or golden wire of hope or something, I don't know. So yeah, you go around, it's a lot faster to get down here, get to the spring water, and, or life water, okay, that works too. And, well, then we do have to climb back up still, so, oh well. It should be a pretty quick climb back up, though. And there is one more new enemy I'd like to try and encounter here. And here it is! Okay. I didn't think I could meet up with this guy down here. I only ever met up with him on the surface there. But okay, this is a man-eating bug. But let's see. He can use a dark elemental spell on your party. Let's see. Let's uh, hit him with a sig stone there. No status ailments that I'm worried about from this guy. He does have quite a bit of HP, though, so everyone will be getting a little work on their additions. By the way, that reminds me. Someone was asking, H.C. Bailey, why did you use those spirit potions on Lavitz if you're going to be using him more often long term? Or you're not going to be using him long term. And the reason is because we have so few party members, he's going to be forced into our party for a while because we don't have anyone else. And I want to get him up to Dragoon level 2 as quickly as possible. Because he can learn a pretty good spell there. So that'll help out a little bit towards, well, in the next couple areas. You don't have to have it, but it is nice. But anyway, yeah, we just uh, climb back up the way we did before. And then we'll get going. Now we got to get back to the other side once again. Then go down and left in order to get to that area with the plant that's blocking our way. But yeah, you gotta be on the right side of this sign in order to be able to jump down. Unfortunately, you can't go back up that way, or you'd be able to circumvent the entire dungeon. So, yeah, that didn't work out. But I wouldn't worry about it. Yeah, actually, I was just looking at the next area as far as enemies go, yeah, there's not really much in the way of status ailments to be concerned about, so I'm not equipping anything to deal with that. But anyway, if we do use uh, Water of Life, it doesn't restore our life, but it does kill other life. Awesome. And by the way, another thing about those spirit potions that I used there... My, the main party members that I'm going to be using are going to be able to hit Dragoon level 5 very easily anyway. Even, with, even without grinding. So that won't be an issue at all. There's really no reason to use them if you're going to uh, stick with the same 3 or 4 party members throughout most of the game. Which is what I plan on doing once I'm able to recruit the guys that I want to use long term. But can we find where the Dragani plant is in the Shrine of the Silver Monkey? Find out next time on Let's Play The Legend of Dragoon! This is H.C. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day!